We're going to turn now to long-distance swimmer Diana Nyad. She is on the verge of fulfilling quite a dream. She is trying for a fifth in what she had said would be final time to become the first person to ever swim from Cuba to Florida without a shark cage. Now, at the moment, she is closer than she has ever been before with dangerous jellyfish that had foiled her previous attempts still held at bay. And ABC's Alex Perez in the flesh, no less, <laughs> is here with us and has the latest on this attempt. What an attempt. What an attempt, guys. This could be it. This could be the big one. Josh, this time around, she's got a few new tools that are helping her cope with those jellyfish. She's been swimming for more than 44 hours. And that last word, less than 10 miles away from reaching Key West. Overnight, Diana Nyad donned a jellyfish protection suit and paddled not only into the most dangerous part of her journey, but what she hopes will be history. Let's make it all the way! <laughs> Nyad, now 64, is attempting the unthinkable again. For the fifth time, the decorated endurance swimmer is trying to navigate the shark and jellyfish infested strait from Cuba to the Florida Keys without a shark cage. It's 103 miles of pure torture. But this morning, she's made it further than ever before, just miles from shore, aided by a form-fitting mask, a newly created repellent cream, both designed to ward off jellyfish stings. Thanks to a strong current, she's traveling nearly two miles an hour. My adrenaline is pumping very hard, which means that in one half, I'm excited and I feel confident. I did all the training. The body is ready. The mind is ready. And on the other hand, I admit I'm scared. It's a dream 35 years in the making. Her first attempt came back in 1978 at just 28 years old. She tried again in 2010, 2011, and twice in 2012. Each time, dehydration, overwhelming exhaustion, and encounters with those poisonous jellyfish have forced her to abandon her mission. I really pictured it, and I knew I could do it. And everybody helped me, and I just couldn't get there. But this morning, something seems different. A little closer. And Nyad's team says if anyone can do it, she can. This is what she wants to do. She has set her mind to do it, and she's going to do it. Now, at this point, she's so tired, she's had to stop and tread water. Her team is on a boat following along beside her, making sure she's safe. They anticipate she could reach a landing point in Key West by late afternoon. So, as you might imagine, guys, everyone is watching her and, of course, rooting for her, making sure she makes it. And, boy, she can take all the time she wants at this point, Alex. Yeah, Thank absolutely. you for that. We're going to quickly uh, turn now to her very good friend and her lead trainer here, Bonnie Stoll. Uh, she is there on the boat encouraging her dear friend, with every stroke. And again, this is a dream. She has chased Bonnie for more than half her life. How is Diana doing right now? Well, she's just doing unbelievably well in this, this epic journey for the 45 team members we have here could not be more ecstatic. We are watching her get there. She is, let's see, we left at 9 a.m. on Saturday morning. We left the Hemingway Marina in Havana, Cuba at 9 a.m. And that's the last I know of time because the one thing we don't do here is, is tell time ever. All we, all I personally know is every 45 minutes and 90 minutes because that's when she drinks her water and that's when she gets fed. So I know it's, it's Monday morning and I know we are over uh, 100 miles now, and the end is in sight. We are all looking at, at the island of Key West, and we should be there. She's got, she's got about 10 more miles to go, and since she's going about two miles an hour, we are looking at an end in sight, and she is just, she started out at 51 strokes a minute, and right now, I'm counting, she is doing 51 strokes a minute as we speak. I tell you She's what. on her way. Yeah, she is on her way. And, uh, boy, next time you stop her for a sip of water, let her know. We are all at her side as she, again, is set to arrive at Key West and so to become the first person to ever swim from Cuba to Florida without a shark cage but with a whole lot of love. Bonnie Stoll, we appreciate the time. And, again, best of luck to your dear friend. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Talk to you soon. All Bye -bye. righty.